Hi everybody and welcome to Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. Um, last week uh, Sarah did a wonderful review of the Finger Free Reflexology foot charts and right at the end of the presentation that she did she asked what is Finger Free Reflexology and so I promised that this week I would unpack that and explain what finger free is. So way, way back when I first started teaching, uh, it wasn't even for Jubilee College, it was before Jubilee was even dreamed of, I used to teach fertility postgraduate courses and I would always get people coming up to me and saying, David, my, my fingers and my thumbs ache after a treatment am I doing the right techniques and I would check their techniques and they would be probably doing something quite different to how I would uh, do the thumb walk or finger walk so I would just show them what I did they said thank you very much and um, it wasn't so painful that way and so I just assumed that everybody that was getting aching fingers and thumbs was doing it the the wrong way well, then I started teaching my own school, Jubilee College, and then the worst thing ever happened was when one of my graduates came up to me and said, David, my fingers and thumbs are aching after a treatment. <clears throat> and they said that um, just two or three treatments and they were kind of getting this ache in their joints. So I asked them to show me what they were doing and to my horror they did the technique perfectly uh, so I was thinking oh heck there is something that we need to do to try to save reflexologists from getting what I then discovered was actually a repetitive strain injury because if you do this enough and you keep repeating that movement you will get a repetitive strain injury it's the the, the nature of the title of the of, of the the condition so repetitive strain injury is a strain, an ache, um, it can also be an arthritis, an osteoarthritis, that is repetitive movement and also repetitive pressure um, on the joint. So I decided I needed um, to try to do something to address this issue. So finger free reflexology was born and I decided that I would try to implement some of the ideas from something called Rocher into reflexology. Now with Rocher they use sharp sticks, uh, or short sticks rather, um, and I kind of thought, well do you know what, I've got my own personal short stick, my third metacarpal, and I thought if I use my knuckle on a client's sole of their foot, that might work. And it did. That took me 10 seconds to work out how to do that one. Uh, it then took me another five years to work out other techniques to be able to give full authoritative treatments to the whole of the client's foot. And so the whole idea of finger-free reflexology is not using fingers and thumbs anymore, but using the bony uh, protuberances of the hands, the wrists, so they are non-articulating joints, and so therefore will be extremely difficult to get repetitive strain injury because you're not bending anything to actually uh, apply the pressure, apply the contact. The difference between finger free and rocher though is, is that with rocher you use an implement and so therefore you're not in direct contact with the feet. With finger free reflexology you are still in direct contact with the client's feet and the whole purpose of finger free is to protect reflexologists, to look after your hands so that you can have a long, pain free and enjoyable career in, in reflexology. So I guess to just round up uh, this little uh, Wednesday's reflexology wisdom, um, and, and I don't want this to come across as a sales thing at all, because I don't like selling anything. Um, 
But if you do want to learn finger free, I teach it personally. I teach it across the UK, in Europe. Um, next year I'm in uh, Canada and America as well. Um, so, and if you're not um, in any of the areas or countries that I'm teaching it in, it is also available online at www.fingerfreereflexology.com. And I'll, I'll put a, a little thing, like a, a link, in the comments bottom at the bottom. So if you do have aching fingers and thumbs and you want to look after yourself, I'd be delighted to teach you. If you want to learn these radical different techniques, because it is totally different uh, to ordinary reflexology, again, come along and learn the techniques. I'd be delighted to meet you in person, um, or of course, delighted to meet you online. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. Do stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next week.